So uh, this is Beast Grip. I've got a, a quick disconnect plate here. This does not come with, but uh, this is a great little product for adding good lenses to a smartphone. So this that's adjustable this way, this frame here that holds the that grips the grips the phone. There's a, a spring-loaded uh, a gripper that grabs the bottom of the smartphone. And uh, you can adjust with these screws here the positioning. And then you can adjust this way the positioning of this 37 millimeter uh, threaded mount for, uh, for mounting uh, lenses. So this solved, at least for me, uh, one of the problems with working uh, with the Galaxy Note 1, the original Note, uh, and I'll show you about that in a minute. So I'm going to just mount this fella on my tripod. Now I've mounted it, and you'll see it's a little flimsy on this side, but I've got, I've got mounting holes. Let me show you that too. I've got mounting holes uh, a quarter inch uh, all over the place on this guy. And ideally this is a, a pretty sturdy one here, but uh, I like to be closer to the lens so that when I pivot, I'm pivoting uh, closer to the center point of the lens. Even still, because these things are so lightweight, uh, uh, even with uh, a, a little bit of uh, vibration here, this, this is almost uh, inconsequential. So I'm going to uh, put in my uh, Note 3, good old Note 3. Uh, with this phone, you really can't use a uh, case uh, with it just because uh, it, it, this is as big as this frame gets and uh, there's just no way to um, to make it go any bigger what's fi still fine and I've also already uh, lined up the the uh, the sensor with the uh, threaded mount so even if I'm not using a, a a tripod, although it's nice to just be able to put a tripod mount on my phone, uh, that's that's been handy. This is also just a good, stable way to handhold your your camera. Good grips, and you're you're uh, you're not holding it like you would a phone with two fingers, but you've got two good, solid grips uh, for for holding it. But the real advantage of this is, is when you start adding lenses. So I have a wide angle adapter for this guy. This is a uh, 0.66 wide angle conversion lens. And I can uh, mount this fella on here without too much trouble. So this is where Beast Grip really, really shines because now I can put a very high quality wide angle lens, get some nice wide angle shots. I've seen some uh, depth of field adjustment uh, lens, lens kits for these as well. Of course I have the uh, cold shoe mount. I can put a light on there if I need to. I can uh, use some of the other quarter inch mounts to possibly put weight at the bottom to uh, make kind of a rudimentary steady cam, but I've been extremely pleased with this product. This is exactly what I've needed to get uh, better wide angle shots with my Galaxy Note phone. Uh, on the, the, uh, the Note 1, my issue was that when I went from 720p to 1080, the, the uh, uh, width change, the uh, field of view became much more narrow and so by using the Note 1 on this frame and this, um, this wide angle lens adapter I got back to my original field of view when I was uh, shooting 720 so now on the Note 1 at least I can shoot 1080p in a at the, uh, a decent wide angle uh, field of view. On the Note 3 with uh, being able to shoot at even uh, up to uh, a resolution of 2K. Uh, all of the fields of view are the same uh, for each resolution. However, I can now get some very nice uh, wide-angle shots uh, with my Note 3 
good steady tripod mount and uh, now I'll show you some sample footage that I shot uh, yesterday out in the backyard uh, to compare um, uh, and give you guys some ideas of uh, what this lens at least will do for uh, uh, for shooting video i